Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Roxanne and this is my makeup channel. I am kind of excited about today's video. Um, if you are new here, thank you for joining me and I hope you uh, choose to subscribe. If you are not new here, thank you and welcome back. Um, so yeah, I was at Shoppers last night and I picked up this new foundation. I haven't tried new foundation in a while. So yeah, this is like $13 and then they had some concealers on and um they had this for like clearance so i ended up picking it up i think it was 8.69 regularly 16 dollars i haven't tried like drugstore stuff in a while i haven't even like been out forever so i'm going to give this all a try and see how i like it and if i do or if i don't so yeah we're gonna start off with the morphe and I tried to go with like brand or um, drugstore brands today, but I realized I don't have any drugstore brand mascaras anymore. So I'm going to use the Jeffree Star one. And yeah, I'll go from there anyway. I am going to use this Becca. I am panning it. Look at that. So this is the anti-fatigue. Gosh knows I need it today. Oh, I am so tired. So as you guys can see, I got the green concealer. I've been wanting to try a green concealer forever, so I thought I'd pick it up. So we're going to try it. Um, and I also got this regular concealer so we're going to try that as well. I'm going to put this on under and then I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do the I uh, I don't know why I'm telling you. Okay, so let's try this out. I am interested to try it. Ooh. So I'm just going Okay, so we are going to try this baby out. I'm going to use a sponge today. Okay, so this is True Skin Hydrating Long Wear. Oh my gosh, when I took the this lid off, for some reason, I unscrewed this. And I was like, well, that's interesting. Some days I wonder how I've gotten through my life. I really, really do. Okay, so it's very liquidy. So... Let's see how this works. So I was going to go with the Catrice 40 or 24 hour wear or whatever it was, but I had a feeling that it was not going to be in my shade. They had beiges and I'm like, I am not a beige. Like even the lightest shade I don't think would have worked for me. Okay, guys. There we go. I think I'm happy with that. Though it looks like I don't have any up here. All right, so there's that so far. So we are going to put on the concealer. I'm gonna set this under eye stuff here. I feel like I can see the green poking out, but we'll see what it looks like after. Okay, let's get into this bad boy here. And I'm going to go in with this color called Self Made. And I'm going to use that just as a all over, like all over. Just to kind of give it like an even color, there is lots of fallout. That's my dog for you. Okay, so I am going to go in with Empire. And I'm just going to...
use that as my starting shade. Okay. Then I think I'm going to go in with this beautiful color called Boss, and I'm going to move my chair in because... So I'm wondering if this color is a little too light for me. It's oxidizing. It is sitting pretty well. It's not going into my line, so I'll give it that. Okay, so there's the colors there, so I'm going in with this one here. Okay. I'm going to go in with the CEO color here. Oh, look at the fallout. It's a beautiful color. But, okay, so I am going to go in with a, like an eyeliner brush here, and I'm going to go in with Equal Pay, which is right here. You going to come say hi? Um, okay, hi. careful. Careful. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, Mom. Let's take my time. Ash. Yeah. Hey, Ash. So I'm going to go in with this color. I think I'm going to go in with the hustle color. So it's right here. Just lightly. Now I'm going to take a bit of this shade called Money right here, and I'm actually going to use this brush again. Put that right there. Okay. Going with the elf brow. Okay, so we're going to use the Jeffree Star Mascara. So I've already curled my lashes. So let's see how this goes. Now this is the second time using this, so. My dog is watching out the window, so she's probably going to bark. Okay. So, the, half of my review from the last time got cut off, or I didn't hit the play button. So... This is waterproof. When I was I was watching um, a video of some sort and I was tearing up. Now I will say that as long as you like took a Kleenex and you dabbed it, it stayed. But if you wiped it, it's gonna come off because this comes off fairly easy. It's like not one of those stubborn waterproofs. I love how weightless this is. 
it's like the brush like you think it's heavier but it's not I also like the way that the the handles made because it's um it's like a, a faux leather and it gives me traction it's not like some of the other ones where you know the lip the lid is like smooth and you know you can kind of twist your way around it this one at least gives me some traction on it I love the brush I love how long the handle is And I will say this, I feel completely in control of this handle. Which is not like some of the other mascaras I have. But holy. This really does get every single lash. Okay. And it feels like it's dry already, like I don't have to worry about it so much. Okay, so I'm going with my doll 10. Okay, so we're gonna use the sheer from Elf setting powder. So let's do this. Okay. So I'm gonna try tomorrow, try, to give you a full review on the foundation and concealer. I'm gonna take a few pictures and maybe by the end of the night before I take off my makeup, I'll let you know how it works. So far, actually, now that it's kind of, I went to the, um, we're doing the rest of it. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. I don't mind it. I really do like the under eye concealer on it. For $7.99, it's not bad at all. Um, it feels like um, and when it oxidized, when I was looking in the bathroom mirror, it, looks, it looked really, really bad. But now looking at it, it isn't so bad. But... The green concealer didn't, like you can probably, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can see the red bump there. It did help through here. Um, definitely not through here. A little bit here. I think it kind of calmed down this purple bump that I'm getting from not going for my laser treatments. So that's good. So I am trying to set this here and we'll see, because it is supposed to be long wear. Um, I do like the how it feels on my face I don't know so yeah I love my doll 10 complex complexion my complexion palette I love it love it love it love it now it is a very sheer formula I was trying to see is hydrating medium to high coverage with a comfortable skin feeling. Um, I think tomorrow I actually might pull up my Derma Blend and use it. I have, okay, so we're gonna do Derma Blend tomorrow. I'm gonna go for the highest coverage I can, and we'll see how that works out for me. Really feel like I want another layer of this on. Like this feels really good for $13.99. It is. It's not bad, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't stay. Okay, so there we go, guys. It feels so nice. It feels like it, my skin has absorbed the foundation, which is really nice. Now, when I look here, it looks, it looks like my skin tone. So, hey, yeah, that's good for that, yay. I'm really happy about that, so yeah. Um, for the eye palette, it isn't bad. Um, this one I'll probably end up giving to my, my daughter on, in all honesty. Um, sorry guys. Uh, it's pretty, but um, I kind of wish I went with the, I haven't done my lips, guys. Seriously, what is wrong with me today? I don't even know what I want to wear. Don't even know. I 
let's go in with Mark J. No, I said I was going to stick with the, the, um, I don't know what to have. The thing that's right here. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, wait, I have Elf. Let's go with Elf. Okay, we'll go with Elf this time. This is actually a really nice one. This one's called Natural. I like this one. Okay guys, there is the look. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Um, this palette is on clearance, so it is av available at Shoppers Drug Mart or online with Shoppers Drug Mart. I do not get any money from this, so I'm just kind of sharing the love. I did hear a lot of good things about this Catrice True Skin Hydrating foundation hydraulic acid long wear so i will finish the review with my next video and let you know how at the end of the day it works i'm probably going to go lay back down i am absolutely exhausted getting off of four nights of uh of night <laughs> work and yeah so anyway guys um i do like the um I do like the concealer is what the word I'm looking for. Okay, guys, I my mind. See, so this is supposed to be waterproof, non-transfer. Let's see what this one says. This this one says now this one says twelve last twelve hours waterproof, non-transfer. So at the end of the day, maybe I'll just go sprinkle some water on my face and see how it looks, how it holds up, and I will let you guys know tomorrow in the video. Um, how this actually wears 12 hours from now is like puts me at like midnight and I who knows I might get my second one by then so anyway thank you guys so much for watching I um, I do appreciate every single view um, and I hope you guys have a great day and please don't forget to give this video a like maybe give it a share and make sure you're subscribed